What you guys got another video. What do you hate about Windows 11? That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. There's only a few things that I actually dislike about Windows 11. I'll go through them in this video and share some of the things that you've shared uh, with your concerns. But first, let's have a word from today's sponsor. This video has been sponsored by CD Key Sales. If you need a cheap Windows 10 Pro key, then check out the links in the video description. Click on the buy now once you've signed up an account and then use my promo code capital B capital R 09 then apply my promo code and then submit your order head over to the windows activation section and then click on change product key and paste in your product key that you just purchased click next and then it will give you the option to click on activate to activate your version of windows 10 pro check out all the links in the video description for more details so back to the video in hand, what do we hate about Windows 11? The first thing I dislike about it is the taskbar and the lack of settings that you have in Windows 11. I don't like the size of it. I find it a little bit too big. And of course, you won't be able to change the position in apart from the left and the middle. On Windows 10, you can either have it on the top, on the left, on the right, or on the bottom. A lot of people have been using the taskbar on these positions for many many years and all of a sudden it's been taken away i don't know why microsoft seemed to always make a really nasty change that people dislike and this is probably one of the biggest reasons why people are going to dislike windows 11. if you've been using your taskbar on the side like this for many years all of a sudden you're not allowed to in windows 11 and this can be a big dislike for a lot of people you can't go through and start making changes uh, in Windows 11 like you can Windows uh, 10. You can make major changes like this and put it onto the bottom, on the right, or on the top. You've got two positions in Windows 11, on the left and in the middle. And also, you don't have access to any sort of uh, taskbar settings inside on the right-click uh, taskbar. You can't do any other settings apart from going into here and basically making changes in here you can't access uh, you know task manager for instance which has been always a right click go to for me and probably many other millions of people all of a sudden you can't do it and this is the reason why a lot of people get disgruntled with uh, microsoft for making such dramatic changes like this there's no benefit to taking it away you have to go through a bunch of different hoops to get to these locations so down here you can also see there is an area called taskbar behavior. And if you look here at taskbar alignment, you've got two options, left and center. The icons just flick to the center, and then you can either have them on the left. And that is it. You can't put them on the left or on the right or up the top. And that can really be a big downside to Windows 11 for a lot of people, especially if you've been using your taskbar on the left for many, many years. Yes, you can retrain yourself. But it's just a pointless thing that I think Microsoft have done to take that feature away. Also, there's no options available on here to get to Task Manager or anything like that. And you can't change the size of the taskbar either. Down here, they've got this pointless recommended section, which just shows up a load of files, which I don't like myself. And there's another option up here, which is for the pinned apps. I think you can't change the size of this either. Now, if you're on a large monitor, a very large uh, resolution monitor that's going to look very small you can't change the size of it to make it bigger inside there they've not allowed you to change this at all so they've taken away the ability to customize uh, that um, start menu yes you can add a few icons in there and to get to task manager you have to search for it now you have to go task manager and search for it or use a shortcut or you can right click on the start button which brings up a secondary menu sort of system here where you'll be able to access the task manager from there. It's not a major deal, but if you've been using the right click taskbar and going to task manager for many years, all of a sudden they've taken that feature away for no reason that I can't see the point in doing that. Also, the right click context menu is a bit of a faff. If you look down here, show more options, you can go down here and you can see there's another one down here, which is the older style menu. Now, why is that such a big deal? Well, if you're right clicking and trying to use 7 zip on the context menu, basically what happens is you have to go to show more and then you can see the right click to 
add to archive for 7-zip. It wants to use their compression tool. So let me just show you what I mean here. So if I highlight some of these files here and I want to add these to my 7-zip, I right click on this and basically it doesn't give me the option for 7-zip here. It just gives me the option to compress to zip file. If I want to use 7-zip, I have to go show more. And now I get the menu here where I'll be able to go show more. It's just another, uh, another extra click that I have to do. So this is the thing I find with Windows 11. It's those little extra clicks and other areas that you have to go to. They've buried the older legacy style uh, settings, which is going to be a big change for a lot of people. Look at the audio and the network. They're joined together down here. I think I've heard rumors that they're going to separate these two. Uh, in the final release. But when you click on sound here, it takes you to this brand new menu, which is a really nice menu, but then you have to come all the way down and then go right down the bottom here, show more sound settings to get to the legacy option down the bottom here, which is the old style menu, which was really easy to understand and you could quickly change these around. I like what Microsoft are doing with Windows 11 in general, and I know that they are trying to phase out a lot of the old style menus uh, but it's making it more and more difficult for people to get access to certain things. I mean, eventually they'll probably remove control panel, the old style control panel, and it will all be embedded in this new uh, UI, what you see here, which I do like quite a lot. It's just that sometimes I think just taking something away, like the ability to move a taskbar to the left or the right when you've been using it for many years or doing certain other things on Windows 11, I think is something that Microsoft have always done they seem to do some drastic changes which really upset a lot of people. And of course, they don't give no explanation for it. They just take it away. And that's a, a big uh, downside for a lot of people. Now, another big problem I think a lot of people uh, get fed up with is the privacy and security settings where they have to go in here and toggle a lot of this stuff off. Why Microsoft never give us the uh, option just to opt out? So you don't have to go in here and just turn this off. I don't know anyone that uses half of these features inside here. They just want to turn them off every single time because there's a lot of background apps and processes running in the background and it's all to do with telemetry and stuff like that. And I think that really just gets on people's nerves when they have to go in here and turn a lot of this stuff off. And it's pretty much everything in here I just turn off. That's what I generally do on Windows 10 as well. Now, another big talking point was TPM 2.0. Microsoft said that this has to be a requirement to use Windows 11. And of course, this caused a massive big stir in the tech community. And the reason for it is it meant that a lot of systems were not going to be compatible to run Windows 11. Later on down the line, people have found a workaround or a bypass to be able to install Windows 11 on older systems and say it runs really smoothly and there's nothing wrong with it. The problem is Microsoft have said they're not going to be stopping uh, that bypass, but they will not receive updates if they're not on the CPU supported list. Unfortunately for a lot of people, not everyone can go out and buy a brand new computer, which means they're now going to be forced to continue to use Windows 10 up until October 14th, 2025, which is still a long way away. Now, of course, there's still a lot of really good CPUs out there that just can't use Windows 11, which is very unfortunate for those people, which means they're just not going to be able to use that operating system and they're going to be forced to use Windows 10 up until 2025. Other than that, I think Windows 11 has been OK. I've been using it for quite a while now, and I can safely say that I've been enjoying it a lot better than I did when Windows 10 was released, when it was just plagued with problem after problem. Let's hope that when it becomes released to the masses that we don't see the amount of trouble that we see with Windows 10 with all the uh, botched updates and releasing of contested patches which actually broke people's PCs and even deleted data. Let's hope we never see that again with Windows 11. If you've got any other particular reasons what you dislike about Windows 11, then let me know in the comments section below. I enjoy reading your comments. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this one. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. A big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. Have a lovely weekend, and I shall see you again real soon. Bye for now.